What's up guys, KPG Guna here and welcome back to another part on the Crew Wild Run. Now in today's part we're going to be checking out some of the new um, features on the game and one of the new features is this area called the Summit. In the Summit you get to compete in all different competitions whether it's a drift event, a drag race or monster truck event and there's all various other events you can do offline, online, um, you can do things with it as a crew, it's absolutely brilliant so I'm just going to enter it and then we could talk some more about it. Here we go. The Summit, a series of contests where the best drivers come together to compete for glory. First, look out for qualifiers. Limited time contests held across the country. Enter the qualifier to compete in a diverse range of events. Earn enough medals and you'll get a spot at the monthly summit. The showcase contest that takes place each month at Bonneville Salt Flats. Succeed here, and you'll reap some exotic rewards. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds awesome. Right, we're going to jump straight into a uh, drift trial. Now, I actually managed to get a drift car. That's the only uh, vehicle that I've actually bought that it's actually added on this DLC. I haven't got a motorbike. I haven't got a monster truck. But in this um, summit, you do get to loan a vehicle to have a go at it. But it's only going to be low level. Obviously, it's going to be more beneficial to get your own vehicles. So as you get uh, better results, you can upgrade and look, there's loads on this. It just looks absolutely brilliant. So we're going to jump straight into this event. It's obviously, my car's only low level, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to do, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So we're going to jump into this event. Here we go. Right, as you heard in that information, there's loads of these qualifiers all over the map for you to enter and try and compete to get those rewards. Right, we're going to have a quick go at this drift event in my Skyline. I managed to put a drift kit on this Skyline. I've already got two versions of this car and I thought that would be the best thing to start with because um, I think the motorbikes and, and the um, monster trucks... Uh, are quite expensive and I want to earn my credit so I can get the best one possible so let's just try and get a good result here if we can um, it's a little bit different uh, drifting on this game um, to, from what um, I've been doing on the Need for Speed if you've been watching my walkthrough on there but like I said it's only a low level so I'm sure once we've upgraded this Skyline drift car it's going to be absolutely brilliant but I love all these different events and the fact you can do this um, you can do it solo, you can do it online, you can do it with your crew. I expect if you do these sort of events with uh, your crew, you will gain more points and more bucks, which is much better if you want to quickly get uh, loads of bucks to buy um, the new vehicles that are available. But I've been in the dealership, some of the vehicles that are available are absolutely brilliant. And I'm pretty sure the crew are going to add loads more as uh, time goes on. But um, I like um, new D DLC, more to do. I actually loved this game when it first came out. I mean, I must admit, I haven't played it in a while, but as you can see on my channel, I do do a lot of games, so it's hard to fit everything in. But I'm glad that I'm back on it, trying to gain... Oh, God, I'm up that drift up there. But um, let's just try and get a half-decent result and just earn some bucks. But the good thing about this, on these um, trials as well... I will gain parts for this vehicle and it will get upgraded <laughs> again. <laughs> I overdrifted then. I'm pretty sure once it starts um, getting to the higher level, it will improve. Um, I don't know whether the Skyline was the best car. I know a lot of people go for BRZs and stuff like that, but I love Skylines. And uh, I haven't also, I haven't uh, really done much on the uh, graphics on the car and that. I will obviously improve that as well as I earn more money. Right, that's the end of that drift. Well, that wasn't too bad for first go. But like I said, what did we unlock? We always unlock stuff if we get a decent enough score. Yes, we've unlocked tank. So we've unlocked, uh, is that suspension? Level 37. So that goes on the car. That upgrades the car to a higher level. So it's up to seven, 739. Right, let's jump back into the summit and check out what other events there is to do. Right, next up, um, we're going to have a go at a drag trial now i haven't got a drag car but like i said to you they give you a loan one but it's going to be low level but we're still going to have a go we're probably not going to get anywhere in the leaderboard to compete with the other people that have actually 
gone out and bought a drag car. I can see the one up the top has actually got a McLaren drag car. That must be absolutely amazing. A McLaren drag car. Oh, my God. Right, that's check which one's the best to do look there's various different events you can do in the summit right we we'll select the drag trial and uh, i'm not sure what vehicle they give us uh, to uh, use but hopefully it's a half decent one right let's jump into it As you can see, it does actually tell you, play with your own car to better performance and earn parts. And look, we get a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray to use in our drag trial. So that's not a bad car to have. Let's give it a, a good shot and hopefully we can still get a decent time. Right, we have to get the uh, wheel spinning up to that green. Oh, that wasn't too bad. So we've got a good burn. Let's see if we can get a good time first off. Oh, almost a lift off there. Gear shift, not too bad. We've got a perfect gear shift there. Use the boost. See how fast we can get. Oh, you've actually got uh, things in the road as well, so you have to try and keep it straight as well. 318, 319, 321. Oh, this is this is quite quick. Oh, 323 miles an hour. That's unbelievable. Right, let's see what the time was. Right, so we did the first one in 22 seconds, 0.2. That's not bad. Let's have another go because we've got three uh, tries on this. Right, let's see if we can beat that uh, 22 seconds. Let's try and get a better one here. Oh, damn, didn't get a perfect. It's quite difficult to get it spot on in the green. That's something you're going to have to practice at. Oh, damn, we didn't get a free. We only got one perfect shift there and two good. I'm not sure whether this is going to be that quick. Let's try and keep it steady and straight. So you've got 22.6, wasn't it, to be? Oh, it's going to be close. 21. Oh, I think I beat it. I think I actually beat it, even though I didn't have a good shift there. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's check the time. Yes, we beat it by the, the minute time, but we beat it. Right, we've got one more go at this. Can we beat it on the third run? Oh, this is going to be close. I'm going to try and get the uh, wheel spinning up to perfect if I can. Here we go on the first third try. Here we go. Let's get it up to perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes, we managed to do it. Right, this is going to take off now, guys. Oh, get that. To the front end. Oh, damn, I accidentally clicked the bloody analogue there. Oh, God. I keep on doing that because you use the analogue to shift. And if you click it, it brings up your friends' names that are online. Right, let's see if we can beat that 22. It was just... I, I, oh, God, I almost hit the curb there. 21. Oh, I'm not sure whether I'll beat that. It was close, I think. Very, very close. Come on, third try. Come on. Did I beat it? Awesome. We actually beat it. 22.168. That's not bad. And like I said, that car isn't fully upgraded. So when you do get it to maximum, that is, I'm not sure what the times you're going to get. It's going to be pretty quick. Right, we're going to jump back in the summit and select another event to have a go at. Here we go. Right, next up, guys, we're going to uh, jump in the Monster Arena. Now, again, like I said, we haven't got a monster truck, so we get a lone monster truck um, at basic level. But uh, hopefully, um, it's going to be good enough. We're going to just try and get the best score we can. But uh, let's see what it loans us. So we get a Dodge Ram. <laughs> now, that's not a bad uh, vehicle to have as a monster truck. Let's jump into this event and hopefully get a decent uh, set of points. I had a go at this uh, in an earlier video and I really, really enjoyed it. Let's see if we can better that. This course looks absolutely epic. It looks amazing. There's two loop-to-loops -loops there. Let's try and get on them. So here we go. Right, so um, on this, to uh, get the maximum points, you can do like forward flips, back flips, 
and uh, obviously you've got a bit of boost on here but because um, this is only a low level you don't get that much so it's not the quickest but we'll try and do the best we can let's get a nice little backflip there that's not bad let's try and boost up this one oh god <laughs> only just control it <laughs> oh no 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 right reverse i want to get that thousand points well that wasn't the best but it just have to do Right, what section do we, we want to go up that section. Let's try and boost up here if we can. We've already got 4,000 points already. Oh, that's not bad. Let's get another 1,000 points. I'll take that. Let's try and do another backflip. Oh, actually, let's do a forward flip. <laughs> oh, God, dear. Oh, God, I mucked that up. Right. We want to go around that bit. We want to go around those loops if we can. Right, so which way do we have to go? Let's get this one first. Right, the loops are over there. So we want to head over this way and straighten up if we can. Right, let's go and get these points down here and get a run up. Actually, if we go around that bit there, we get those 100 uh, points there. And then we get turn and get that 500 points. And then we'll try and get a run at those two loops. Right, this is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. We've still got a minute and a half to go. Right, let's see if we can do this. Boost. We need to get some speed up. Here we go. Boost. Oh, my God. And another one. Oh, God. That's brilliant. Oh, God. I'm, I really would like to do this. Um, I've seen that uh, some people have done this in, in crew, crew events and against other people. It looks really good fun. Um, definitely when I get my own one and I start upgrading, I'm definitely going to have a go at that. But uh, these monster trucks, they... They, they are quite uh, difficult to control at first, but I don't know because it's just a basic one that once you start upgrading it, it gets better, but uh, they're good fun. Right, let's see if we can do this other loop over here. We're up to, well, we've got 13,000 points. We're not doing too bad. That's way better than what I did in the uh, first trial, in my first video. Oh, 15,000, and we've got 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can get just gain a few more points. See, it hasn't ba been a bad run, I don't think. I don't know how, where this is going to get on the leaderboard. Probably not that high. Oh, damn, we just missed that 500 points. I've noticed that also, guys, there, there's no trials with motorbikes yet. Um, I don't know that's because I haven't got one or and they don't loan you one or that just hasn't been added. Or there is other qualifiers in different areas. There might be different events in different areas. Right, so let's see what score we got there. 17,841. That's not bad. I mean, it's only ranked 1,760, but I'll take it. And it's you get some bucks for it as well. Right, we're going to jump in and see what else there is to do. Right, let's go. Right, guys, I decided to jump into the dealership with the motorbikes, and we're gonna. And I've got enough um, bucks to buy a motorbike, so we're just gonna have a look at the motorbikes they've got. So they've got a KTM uh, 450cc trials bike, which um, is good for like dirt and uh, that. You've got uh, this Indian Scout, which is uh, you can get a street and perf version of that. That's still within my price range. Um, and then they start getting really expensive. You've got a Ducati Monster, which is uh, going to be probably an awesome wheelie bike. And then you go up to the one that you saw in my second video. I did a trial on the Kawasaki Ninja, which was absolutely brilliant. Then you've got the Super Duke, which is another amazing wheelie bike with loads of power. Then you've got the awesome BMW S 1000RR. And last of all, you've got another Ducati there, um, which is going to be probably really, really powerful, but really expensive. So um, I'm not sure. What should we get? Should we get the Trials bike or the Indian Scout? Um, that one's Street and Perth. Uh, so you've got two versions that you can have two versions. That one's sh on that's all that's street, dirt, and raid. Mm, I think I'm going to go with the Indian Scout because I like to have. Uh, I, I, what I do is I start off with the street, and then um, obviously I upgrade it to Perth once I've uh, gained some more bucks. So we're going to just jump out the dealership, uh, see what this is like, and uh, yeah, it's not going to be the quickest motorbike. Um, but uh, at least I've got one now. That's the main thing. And uh, we can start building up our garage of motorbikes. 
Um, as you've seen on the channel, I do a lot of motorbike uh, videos on all different uh, games. I absolutely love motorbikes. I've got one myself. Right, let's come out the, the, the ship and see what this one's like. Motorcycles are fast, agile, and perfect for slicing through traffic. Don't get distracted popping wheelies at stoppies. Find new rides at the motorcycle dealer, and remember, you can tune them at tuners throughout the U.S. That sounds brilliant, guys. But they are brilliant to go through traffic. I don't know. I haven't really decided what view that I prefer to ride the motorbikes in. I do like that view. That's what I did a video. If you've seen that, check it out. I did it on the Kawasaki. But uh, it's up to you, I mean, what you feel most comfortable with. I mean, some people like seeing the motorbike so they can judge uh, the cornering and stuff. But let's just try and do some wheelies and stoppies on this. I don't no, I don't think I'm going to be able to do stoppies on this. Not at this. Let's try and get a run up and see if we can do one. Oh, I couldn't even get the front wheel up there. It's not, it's not designed for that. I'm, I'm pretty sure once you've upgraded this to Perth and you've put some more power. Oh, yeah, you can get a bit of a wheelie. But, um, yeah... I don't think it's going to do stoppies yet, but I'm going to try and go down this road to give it a bit of a longer run up and see if I can do one. But it's not a design for that. But I love the motorbikes, I really do, and uh, and I do like the uh, conditions of the, uh, the the rain effects. I did a um, I had a race uh, last night um, in a, um, a drift event and uh, in the rain, and it was just absolutely amazing. I did I do really like it, but it. It's, it gives you a good sense of speed in this view as well, um, I've noticed. But let's uh, see how fast this thing goes. I don't think it's that quick. Um, it's still basic, standard. And uh, yeah, it's going to need a few more bucks spent on it until it gets to uh, be able to, for me to take it into events and actually compete. But I actually did have a race uh, in, a, in a car race and someone actually was on one of these and won it so they're not bad uh, for cornering and probably quicker than the cars right this is the end of the episode and i will see you soon for some more the crew wild run very soon i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe and i'll see you very soon thank you for watching bye